Hello, once again, this is Dr. Patrick Price, the Body Detective. I'm here today to show you some Love It Brothers, just a couple of basic movements. Uh, we already checked the back of the spine using a JTEC tool like an activator to show you where the reflex spots are, the turn on muscles, and the posterior body. So now let's take a look at some of the Love It Brothers. Some of these muscles that were weak in our initial testing, I'm going to show you the opposite muscles. Because if you have a muscle, say a glute, that keeps going weak, usually you have to go to the opposite side of the body and look at the the brother, as the term is love or brother, and check the status. And I can tell you an easy way to look at this, think of your bicep and tricep. If I'm flexing a bicep, the tricep has to relax. If I flex a bicep and a tricep at the same time, that muscle is going to lock, it's not be able to go forward or backwards. So there's synergistic workings, one relaxes as one contracts back and forth. So on the body, there's the same fashion, it goes on like a bunch of rubber bands. You'll have something on the front that works and something on the back that works with it. And they should not contract at the same time. When one contracts, one relaxes. So let's take a look. Okay, and just first of all, making sure that the person on your table is just relaxed and calm and testing. And we had, on the back side, uh, we had a couple things that didn't work just right. Uh, we had a quadratus lumborum, all these muscles in the back, that kept going out on our patient here. So, with it being on the right side in the back, the quadratus, that means I need to test something in the front. And the front's going to be testing the pec. If you turn the muscle inside, isolate it as much as you can, lengthening it, and giving some Resistance right here, strong. That's the pec minor. So know which ones you're testing. This is the clavicle connection. Strong here, there. And as we bring the arm down a little bit, keep it locked out. Keep the shoulder uninvolved at the trap as much as you can. And give me some resistance here, pushing up. There's the pec major. This connects to your sternum here. Right? Now what's going to happen is this muscle then in back, the quadratus that was not strong. You're going to see here. Hold this strong. But this one is doing what? Same kind of thing. It's kind of going out on us. But if we test the other side, hold this strong, it locks. Good and strong for his pec major on this side. You might that All right, now the question is, do I go directly to the muscle? Do I go to the other muscle, the brother? Do I go to the spine? Do I go to the meridian? There's the five flows of the body, right? Digestion, lymphatic, meridian, nerve, and vascular. Five flows. So I can really spend a lot of time working on this person, but let's keep it very simple. Let's just work with the muscles first. So if the pec needs a little help, a little stimulation, hold this strong. I'm going to see it's weak and see if the muscle shows up anywhere. And it doesn't. Now if I test the loving brother, I'm going to touch the muscle itself. And boom. There, I found a connection. It locks. So what I'm going to do is go to the quadratus muscle itself, go right into it where it showed the connection. And having breathe, as it breathes out, my a little pressure to stimulate that part. And usually it's going to be very tender on the person. I paid him not to scream today, by the way. That's a joke. Okay. And then kind of pull out the energy of this thing. Strong. And it locks. So now we've got these two once again talking. One can contract, one can relax. <clears throat> Pull this room. We're just testing that rear delt while we go. And that rear delt is still not working all the way like it should. As you see, when he holds it, strong here, okay, it doesn't quite lock anymore. But there's a little bitty muscle inside, internal on the hip. It's called a pectineus. If he lifts his leg, hold this up, and contracts this, now you see it locks. So that tells me right away that there's something here and here that's not working right. Love it brothers, right? Connectors. I'm going to first see if the muscle's involved. Hold this strong. I'll run my hand along the muscle, and yeah, I can get right to a spot in the rear deltoid that makes this lock again. So I'm going to have him relax this. Once again, he's been paid not to make a lot of noise. 
There it goes. Now see, breeze. And breeze out. I'm really digging into that spot in his body. And like you'll see a lot of Tai Chi masters and other energy practitioners, is they always move the energy that's stuck there. You can keep it moving down the body. And if you want to know a direction to take something, well, meridians go this way here, and meridians on the back side go this way here. So you can always kind of help move energy along the meridians where they're supposed to go. If you're wondering what direction, keep moving with the reference that's already there. Okay. Now I go back to the pectineus and I test. Good and strong. I go back to the rear deltoid. Strong. And it locks. Okay. Now here's the key thing with this. When he lifts his leg, activating the pectineus, and he activates this, something's got to go. Something's got to go. Okay. Now that's the same idea as they can't be contracted at the same time. So when I contract them both with him, one goes weak. He's working just fine. And there's your introduction to the Lovett Brothers. I'm Dr. Patrick Price, the Body Detective. Join us next time.